about 40 degrees out here. Not what I was hoping for. I was hoping for, you know, 60, which is what it's supposed to do tomorrow when I'm busy doing other stuff, of course. But uh, we're going to go out here and see what we can do. First, we're going to look over here. those pretty it is spring here kind of a little bit All right, well, let's see. Where'd we leave off at? Um, yeah. I gotta put this other piece here. I don't know where I laid it. Well, hopefully it's here somewhere. From here down to here. And, uh, we got to make all those holes in it and uh, recess them in. So, yeah. Oh, there it is. Okay. Yeah. So I think what I'm going to do, because I'm lazy and I hate to measure, I think I'm just going to lay that there and kind of mark them off. But, uh, yeah. I guess that edge is going to be okay. I thought about getting a... There's a bead maker or fold over, rounder over, thingy, twisty thing on eBay. I thought about getting it because it's at a pretty good price and then just trimming these off here and folding them over and all that. But you know what? It's good enough. I'm starting to be tired of it and I'm thinking maybe don't hold me to this but I'm thinking I could like split a piece of copper tube and solder that on there I don't know maybe make it look okay I don't know all right let's just do some stuff here Thankfully, you can't see both sides of the car at once, so should know. All right, and I 
don't understand why those keep falling out of there. Put that on first. Where it's never gonna. It's never gonna be right. I gotta get this on there first so that my line matches up. Now this, this might look like I'm using a gargantuan screwdriver on this, which it is pretty big. But man, it, it fits these old-timey flathead screws so well. Instead of slipping off and flying and gouging yourself with them. So yeah, I'm not using this because I just don't have a different screwdriver. This is the one that fits. The best. And as I say that, it won't fit that head for some reason. Must be. Uh, I think it's goobered up just a little bit from using a smaller screwdriver. Which just proves everything fights you. Yep, fight you, fight you right to the end. My wife said, out there working on that car, it doesn't raise your blood pressure, right? And I looked at her and I just, I did what we'd all do. I just, just told a great big fat lie and said no. I think it's good for the soul to come out and drill some holes, and put some screws in, all that jazz. Oops. I think what I need to do is get under the lip of that. Got company. Okay. Got the other side on there. I should get a clamp and put it on there, but 
I don't know what I did with them. I know they're around here somewhere. That, that looks pretty good. That's not bad. So, we got this side all the holes drilled except for right here where I've got to, I got to add a piece there. And, I'm, and I got the hood setting on it. And I think we're gapping fairly well, good enough for a Model T. And, uh, yeah. So, can't see because of the sun very good there. That's a little better. But yeah, we'll get this. We need to make a strip to go along here with some uh, nice bolts in it. And, uh, yeah. That's not going to look too bad. All right. I got something else I want to try today. So we'll get back to this. Um, I was going to go in the house, but I decided I wanted to do this first. Here's the piece that's going to go here. And what we're going to do is uh, put some edges on this. Beat them down. Then we're going to put a crease down the middle of it. And then that's going to bolt right on there. I don't have any bolts, but I can make the part. So... I'll show you how I'm going to do this in a second. Okay, you can see, well, you probably can't see, but there's a line on there. And I've got it between these two uh, half-inch pieces of steel. And I'm just going to tap this over into a 90 and then uh, take it the rest of the way over. So it's pretty primitive, but it works. At least I hope it does. this off. Alright, this is just coat hanger wire. If this doesn't work yet, I'll, I'll, we're not going to invest a lot into it. So anyways,
All right. Well, that doesn't look too bad. Whoops. I mean, this looks pretty sloppy in here, but nobody's going to see that. Yeah. That's not bad. That's a... It's a... Let me get back here. It's an edge and it has wire in it, so I guess you'd call that a wired edge. This is the edge that comes out of here. That's not going to look bad at all. Alright. Tomorrow we'll put the other wired edge on and uh, crease it down the center and maybe I can get some bolts and put it together. So. Well, it's a nice sunshiny day. So, I guess it's supposed to get up to like 70 today. Can't hardly believe it. A little chilly. And anyways, come back in here. This is what we got done yesterday. It's passable. And this is what we were working on um, when we quit yesterday. I got to fold over that edge and put a piece of wire inside it. And crease it down the middle. Good enough. Doesn't have to be perfect. All right. Now, I know this is not necessary. I understand that. I just wanted to see if I could do it. And it's turned out pretty much like I wanted. So now we'll put a crease down it. Somehow. Um, let's see. All right, this is the... Uh, all right, this is the angle we're going for. I'd like it to be a little more of a pronounced crease, but we'll see. So, yeah. Now what I need to do, is make sure these are good and tight. This is kind of a pretty, as usual, very primitive rig here. Because, all right. We'll try this. Make sure that's good and tight. Make sure that's good and tight. We put a lot of force on here. All right, here we go. Golly, that looks just like I wanted it to. Yeah. Success. That doesn't happen very often. I should have made it a little wider. Woulda, coulda, shoulda. Now I gotta decide if I like it. Now that I've made it. Alright. What we're trying to do here is we need... I don't know if you can see this or not. See how that, that rod that holds the two sides of the hood together sets down in this little bent up piece here. What I need to do is make something that looks similar on this end. So, yeah, we'll see. We'll see what happens. All right, let's keep in mind that I don't know what I'm doing. I've marked out a piece that I think is about the right width. 
and then Clean that up better when I'm done. All right, let's find the center of this. A little bit more. About right. We need to cut this so we can fold it up into what we need. And I'm I'm hesitating and stumbling and wasting time because I'm just not sure how I'm going to do it. Oh, okay. Okay, I think, where are we at here? I think if I cut on these two lines here, I should be able to fold this up. That's pretty darn close. All you guys that take care of your tools, you might want to go get something to eat right now. We're getting there. We're just not there yet. All right. I don't know if I can do it one handed or not. There we go. So. I'm kind of thinking that that could pro this can probably go underneath this. What's anybody think? I think I can bend these up and cut them off so it looks like the front one. So, okay, I need to do some experimenting here. Well, let me see if I'm in the frame here. This is kind of what we were looking for. This will hold that center rod down the uh, um, hood. Hold it in place. As long as I get it. Um, as long as I get it centered, it will be in cockeyed there we go that's a little better yeah let's, let's go over and see how this magnificent piece of engineering works over here huh and it's crap Yeah, Piggy Hill would say. Need two screw holes right there. All right, here we go. Here's the piece this goes into. I don't know if you see how that works. Uh, that goes underneath here, and we'll put in some bolts here and do something here and then this will be 
this will be just like I want it. So this is this is how it looks like that. And man, just so you know, I've been out here for hours doing this. So that's the way it works, man. It takes a lot of time. To get this the way you want it. It's getting there. Hold that in so it looks right. Yeah. Yes. A lot of time. But anyway, that'll keep that from moving back and forth. Just like this stock one does here. And, uh, yeah. I'm kind of trying out. I had some pieces of leather here from an old uh, horse bridle that I thought, well, I don't know. They're kind of thin, but, you know, they'd do the job. I don't know. I have to think about it. I have to decide if I'm going to be cheap and use these or get some proper width belting. Anyway, that's it. Man, I've had it for today. Nice day, though. Really nice. Yeah. Oops, I'm shaking. Definitely time to go in. Look at that poor dirty dog. Jeez, I gotta take that and wash it. Alright, see you next time. Bye.